I'm at Bergstrom Nissan in Appleton. Doing a little bit of a look around to see if we can find any bargains. Um, finding a lot of 2024s. Hey, 52,000 for Titan. Could almost get an SUV for that. Seems like trucks should be more, but uh, more than cars, but it's not as much price difference as you'd think. I'm seeing some prices dropped, but not by a lot. I'm seeing a lot of 2024s in the lot. Not seeing as many 2025s, 2025s as you'd think. Titan XD, that's gonna be their biggest one right there. Doesn't look as lifted though. Uh, well, the Nissan reporting their uh, earnings drop. Thought maybe I would see some uh, deeper discounts. I think they're keeping their prices up though, just to uh, keep from uh, keep from seeing too much depreciation. Like if they uh, drop the price for the for right now, the people that uh, bought them earlier would see a higher. Uh, Appreciation on the vehicle might affect their lease rates. Nissan Versa, 35 miles to the gallon. All right, here's your deal under 20 grand for Nissan Versa. There are some deals to be had. It's the made in Mexico. Another Versa. See, they've got two of them. A lot of Mitsubishi for under 20 grand, but I, I believe Nissan uh, often holds the uh, record for the uh, cheapest vehicles sold in the US. So the Versa must be their uh, price leader at this point. I've always heard good things about Nissan. Armada, it's their big SUV. This thing is about six foot tall. Big imposing front end. I mean, 60 grand for the top of the line. I mean, some brands are putting their top of the line closer to 100. So Nissan is uh, not pushing the envelope as far as some of them. More uh, mid-size SUVs, basically. The Murano, they are everywhere. Uh, mid-size SUVs, that is. Tear. Pathfinder's got a little different look. Looks like the back of a Range Rover, though. There's people wandering around trying to avoid the other people, so I don't get them on camera. I like the dark green. Pathfinder. All these uh, lots in the area are all different brands, but they're all owned by Bergstrom. So you're seeing uh, single companies taking over large amounts of dealerships. A Rogue. Let's look at a Rogue for 30 grand. 30 miles to the gallon. I don't really see any specific car stand out is that much better. It's almost like all these cars come off the same lot because they're the same factory. Because they're so similar. Similar price, similar features, similar amounts to the gallon. A little bit different based on uh, maybe some options. Subarus with uh, all wheel drive are always impressive to me. Kia Sportage. I don't think I've walked through a Kia a lot yet. Let's see, 2019 Ranger, 30 grand. So everyone on the Ranger is really the go-to to somebody that uh, didn't want to spend the money in a full-size pickup. And I remember when uh, Kias were the go-to for somebody that didn't want to spend money at all. Ooh, the Jeep pickup, Gladiator.
Mr. Chair. Oh, here's a fill in her tracks. Still 22 grand. All right, tons of used here. Let's try to get back to the, uh, um, the new ones. I wonder if they mix the brands intentionally. I mean, it's all Bergstrom, so they can put them wherever they want. We're putting some other brands on other lots just to get people to look at them. Say like this uh, Lexus. Why was it not over in the Lexus lot? Unless they're afraid somebody's gonna go look at a Lexus and buy that instead of buying a new one. So put it over here so it's an upsell from a uh, from a Nissan. Oh, that's cute. All the uh, protective wrap. Sentra, 26,000 for Sentra. Even those have gone up. Kicks, I don't think I've seen that style of kicks. 30 grand. Lots of protective wrap. Did I miss some cars here? I think I missed a... Oh, not watch. No, it's just more SUVs. I just can't imagine everybody wants an SUV. It's like they all went to the same meeting and said, hey, let's uh, just build SUVs. Yeah, yeah, there's thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. I didn't miss anything. There's those couple cheap ones in front, but that's it. Just cookie cutter, cookie cutter. Nobody's making anything new. I know, as a, as a car company, I, you gotta look at whatever you're building right now or whatever popular right now, and know that's not gonna be popular in a couple of years. Oh, here's a whole row of kicks. So if everybody's buying uh, mid-sized SUVs, you should know you should be working on the next thing. 2024, look how faded that window sticker is on. And that tag. I mean, maybe these are good deals, but I don't know, make something else. I mean, pickups, people need to haul stuff, but they've just really cranked up. I mean, those base trucks are just so crazy expensive. Some uh, electric VWs like parked away from the VW lot. All right, this is uh, the Nissan lot. Definitely have some selection, as long as you're looking for an SUV. They do have a few sedans, a few pickups. I guess it's a much better mix than most have. Uh, Nissan is uh, not doing so well with their uh, spending on incentives. So keep an eye on Nissan if you're looking for a new car. They might surprise you with, uh, you know, when they need to make a change, they'll make a change.